Putin hammered. Sanctions wiped £266 billion from war chest as trust demands EU step up. More than £266 billion of Vladimir Putin's war chest has been frozen, Foreign Secretary Liz Truss has declared, as she urged international allies to go further to cripple Russia. Speaking in Poland after holding a meeting with her counterpart, Zbigniew Rao, Most Trust said it was urgent for the West to step up sanctions and supply more weapons to Ukraine to defend itself. The Foreign Secretary blasted Russia's reckless disregard for civilian lives and their nationhood as she condemned shocking images of barbarism that have emerged in recent days. Mass graves have been discovered in areas where Russian forces had withdrawn from around Kyiv and there have been reports of the military using rape as a way to terrorize the civilian population. Britain has announced its intention to impose even more economic measures to punish Moscow, adding the action taken so far has had a crippling impact on those who feed and fund Putin's war machine. She said, Today, I can announce that we have frozen over $350 billion, £266 billion, of Putin's war chest, making over 60% of the regime's $604 billion, £3,460 billion, foreign currency reserves unavailable. Our coordinated sanctions are pushing the Russian economy back into the Soviet era. But we can and must step up. There has been frustration in the UK at the failure of EU member states to set out a timetable for reducing their reliance on Russian imports. The bloc agreed last month that it would end imports, but sources say there is irritation in the British government at the failure to set out a hard deadline or roadmap to easing the use of Russian gas. European Commission President Ursula Vopn der Leyen set out a fresh range of sanctions earlier today, including banning the import of coal but fail to outline further action on gas. The proposed sanctions, which EU member states must approve, would bar Russian imports worth £7.5 billion and exports to Russia worth £8.3 billion, including semiconductors and computers, and stop Russian ships entering EU ports. We all saw the gruesome pictures from Bukha and other areas from which Russian troops have recently left.